Hello everyone, welcome to the chapter on discounted cash flow valuation. This is an extremely important chapter. It literally serves as a building block for practically everything else that you're going to see in finance later on. And so I urge you to pay very close attention uh, to what this chapter is all about. What I want to do in this introductory video is give you the core idea behind this chapter. You know, when we say discounted cash flow valuation, what is really uh, discounted cash flow valuation all about? And so what I'm going to do is just give you the core concept behind this idea. Uh, and I'm going to do that using an example. So let's suppose that today uh, a friend of yours comes to you and says, please give me $5,000. And so your friend is asking for $5,000. And your friend says, look, uh, I will pay you back this money five years later. And let's suppose your friend is very credible. There is a guaranteed uh, return back of $5,000 here, right? So your friend will pay you back $5,000. If I ask you how you feel about this proposition, you know, your friend asking you for $5,000, and let me put a negative sign over here to depict the fact that this $5,000 will go out of your pocket today, and then you will receive it uh, five years later, guaranteed. If I ask you how you feel about this, you might say, well, I don't feel so good about this proposition. You might feel a little bit uneasy. Why? Why is that? Well, because once you are going to dish out $5,000, this $5,000 is gone and you won't see it for another five years. The reason you are uneasy is because while you were waiting all this time for this $5,000 to come back to you, you are losing out on everything else that you possibly could have done with that $5,000 as well. In other words, when you are dishing out 5000 it's not costing you just 5000 it's costing you the opportunity cost as well what is opportunity cost opportunity cost is the cost that you are paying in terms of an opportunity foregone here while you're waiting these five years you are losing out on the opportunity to do other things with this five thousand dollars as well so you might go to your friend and say look i'm feeling a little bit uncomfortable about uh, this proposition because the moment i will part with this five thousand dollars and give it to you i won't be able to do other things you know i could have uh, gone on a vacation uh, i could have bought a car uh, i could have just kept this money in the bank and felt a little bit more financially secure and these things are valuable to me like it's not just about the five thousand it's the added benefit that this five thousand dollars is bringing to me and your friend might understand if the friend might say look okay if you part with this five thousand and you're not able to go on a vacation like uh, how much how much dollar value would you put on that sacrifice on that opportunity uh, that you that, that you're foregoing and uh, you might say look um, you know that 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 you know me going uh, me going without a vacation or buying a car and everything i could do all of that but all of that is worth maybe like $1,000 to me. You know, the added value that that could have brought to me is maybe $1,000. What are you saying? You're basically saying that, look, uh, if you, Mr. Friend, if you take $5,000 from me, had you said that you're going to give me back not 5000 but $6,000, then I would have been somewhat comfortable with this proposition. Why? Because you would not only be compensating me for the 5000 that I'm giving you, you would also be compensating me for the $1,000 value that I lost in terms of an, some opportunity foregone, right? In fact, if your friend promises you anything beyond 6000 like 61, 62, 6500, then you might be more comfortable because you are being compensated for the time that you are are well waiting for your money to come in and so sometimes you'll hear this term you know time value of money time value of money what is that idea it's a very simple idea look as you are waiting all this time for money to come in you are losing out on opportunities to do 
other things that those things are valuable so therefore waiting all this time has a monetary value associated with it which in this case is one thousand dollars so this is one way of thinking about it then another way of thinking about it and this is where the discounted cash flow valuation concept comes in right to so pay pay attention if you are saying that, look, uh, Mr. Friend, if I give you this 5000 then it's not just about the 5000 but also on the $1,000 worth of value that I'm losing out on. What you're saying is that, my friend, if you are just promising me this $5,000 five years from now, then re in reality, in today's terms you are really what you're offering me is just four thousand dollars because when you pay me this five thousand five years from now during these five years i would have lost thousand dollars worth of value you know in terms of other things that i could have done you know my opportunity cost which means really right netting out this uh, amount that I've lost during these five years you're really what you're offering me today is four thousand so what did you do you discounted this five thousand in present value terms and this is the core idea behind discounted cash flow valuation put very simply when someone is offering you some amount in the future right if you're being offered some amount in the future it is less valuable to you today because uh, there is an opportunity cost involved as you are waiting for that amount to come in in the future you're paying a cost in terms of what else you could have done as well and therefore you discount it you discount it which means that it means worth less to you and so put another in put another way a dollar today is always going to be worth more to you than a dollar tomorrow because a dollar tomorrow uh, doesn't account for anything else that you could have done in the meantime while you were waiting for that dollar to come in and so this is the core idea behind discounted cash flow valuation i'm going to sum it up in one or two sentences as you are waiting for money to come in the future you are losing out on opportunities to do something else there's an opportunity cost involved which means that you discount that future amount back that's the core idea you know, this you discount it it means less to you today and so this is a very important idea in the future in this chapter you will see different types of terms like present value future value compound interest discount rate you'll see all those terms we'll talk about it but at the heart of all of that at the heart of all of that is this idea of opportunity cost and therefore you discounting um, these are very important ideas because guess what whether you are a firm whether you are an individual you are always dealing with these sort of issues where you are trying to compare uh, some cash flow today with some cash flow tomorrow right uh, so firms usually are asking themselves this question look should we invest in product development should we invest in workforce training should we invest in new factories what does that involve that involves spending some money today for some future benefit okay that's fine but the key here is this when you're going to spend this money today it's not just about that it's about what else you could have done with that money as well and so it better be the case that when you are going to make this invest in product development that product development return that you're getting is not just compensating you for your initial investment it's also compensating you for your opportunity cost for what else that you could have uh, done in the meantime or what else it is it costing you while you're waiting for those cash flows to come in uh, individuals are the same so students like many students ask themselves like should I invest in my education so should, should I spend like hundred and fifty thousand dollars in my undergraduate or graduate degree and yeah there's this lure that look you're gonna get like these future higher salaries and that's all fine but 
the, it better be the case that these higher salaries are not just compensating you for your upfront investment for 150000 What you have to ask yourself is that, look, if I'm going to wait four years and then get a job, you know, what else is it that I could have done with that $150,000 as well? What is it that I'm losing out on in terms of our other opportunities? And it better be the case that uh, these higher salaries are not just compensating me for that 150, but also for those opportunities. And so that is why you would discount those higher salaries in the future saying, look, a salary of $200,000 that I can potentially get like six years from now, that means less to me today. I will discount that because there's a bunch of other stuff that I could have done in the meantime as well. So that's the idea. You discount future cash flows back to the present. In present, they mean less to you. And you discount them. Why? Because there are opportunity costs involved. Time has a monetary value. There's this time value of money. As you're waiting all this time, it's costing you. Right. And so you need to discount those future cash flows back for that matter. And so this is the core idea. And we're going to put more structure on that as we move along. But if you understand this core idea, it's going to be a piece of cake. Uh, so stay tuned and we'll talk more about uh, more about these ideas.